In this video, I'll show you how to use Osmond Maps and Navigation to create GPX routes, to record GPX tracks, to analyze them, navigate with them, and change their appearance. I'll be using the Android version of Osmond, version 4.0. My main focus is on hiking, but you can apply all of this to any mode of transportation. The easiest, most flexible way to create a GPX route is with Osmond's Plan Route feature. In its most basic mode, you specify a set of points and it connects those points with lines. But you can also generate a more meaningful route using the underlying map. You can move points, you can add points before and after other points. You can rearrange and delete points here. And see profiles of the altitude and slope here. When you're happy with what you've laid out, you can save it as a GPX. You'll find it here. That was a walking route, but you can also create routes that combine more than one method of navigation. To record a track, you first enable the Trip Recording plugin. There are also settings here that govern how you record the track. The other thing to do is to enable the Trip Recording button. That's done through the Configure Screen menu. To start recording, press it. Press again at any time to see information about the trip so far. And when you're finished with your trip, Press again to save. The track file is also found in the My Places menu. The Options menu gives you a few other choices, including clearing the data and stopping without saving. You can get information about any GPX by tapping it on the screen.
To navigate with the GPX from where you are, select it and then press start. Even off-road, a GPX created with the planner route function will give you true turn-by-turn -turn navigation. That's not true with a recorded track. Here, every turn is just a change in direction. One workaround, of course, is to create a new route by tracing over the track. And finally, you can change the appearance of any GPX. Its thickness and its color You can show its direction, distance intervals, and even show it as a color-coded indicator of altitude, with green being the lowest part of your route and red being the highest.